Hey guys, what's Kyle here? Um, so um, the other day I made a video um, talking about um, the possible death of TNA with uh, Spike TV not renewing uh, a new TV deal. Um, so uh, you know, a lot of things. I think everyone has been wondering. Um, this, the purpose of this video basically is um, should TNA get a new national TV deal, who should they sign with, who will be befitting for them. So here I composed a list of some people or TV stations that I think could work for TNA. Maybe others are very far-fetched, but I'm, it's just uh, just me just putting it out there. Um, but before I get on to that, uh, one thing I do definitely think, I think it's going to be definitely rough for TNA um, to find a, a, a TV deal. Multiple reasons, but here are the two biggest reasons why I think so. Reason number one, um, wrestling in itself uh, as a whole today um, is just not as big anymore uh, like it used to be. Um, you know, tell in the, the world, of, the landscape of the world of television has changed drastically, um, where wrestling is just not it's not a hot commodity um, anymore um, to, to to have. And even you know, it's like if, if you're not WWE. Um, which has, you know, which is a, a, a wrestling juggernaut because they're the only wrestling juggernaut in town. So it's like if you're not WWE or associated with the WWE, they probably won't even give you a, a, a passing glance, um, so to speak. So I think it would be very hard for any up-and-coming wrestling company to try to come or even establish, even in TNA's case, to come and, you know, try to find a, a, a TV deal. Uh, with 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 a network that would be willing to you know have wrestling on their on their network, um, so I think that's one challenge that TNA has. And then secondly, TNA itself um, have been just a revolving door. Um, TNA's success has not been consistent. There's no consistency with their success. And so if you look at TNA's you know their track record from uh, I forgot the first uh, uh, station that they were on before Spike picked them up. But if you look at their 12-year history from the original station and then getting up to getting on with Spike, um, and the the and also the reasoning behind Spike not renewing the, their TV deal, um, it puts a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths because they're looking at okay, well if you did this with Spike, the whole situation with the thing, what what's to say you might not do the same thing with us? And not only that, again, like I said, their success has not been very um, uh, 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 TNA success has not been uh, consistent, no consistency in their success, you know, again, and make a TV network one say, hmm, why should we pour money into you, um, you know, when you're, you've been floundering for 12 years, and Spike TV, which is primetime television, even though Spike doesn't really have a lot of good content, but it's still primetime, a primetime network, they couldn't even, uh, you know, help you out or whatever, um, so with those two things, uh, uh, going up against TNA, I think TNA is going to have a really hard time trying to find another TV deal, um, their backs will be up against the wall because of those two main reasons there. Uh, but on to the networks that I just kind of throw out here. Um, first one that I throw out here is um, Cartoon Network. <laughs> now, give me just give me a minute to explain this, uh, why I think Cartoon Network could maybe work. When I say Cartoon Network, I'm not talking about the Cartoon Network block. Where you know you've got Adventure Time and Regular Show, which are great shows, those two at least, um, and other content they have on the net on, on that cart on the on that block. I'm not saying Air TNA on there. I'm saying Air TNA during the Adult Swim block. Um, back in the day when Adult Swim was first uh, concepted and brought into Cartoon Network, uh, 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 Adult Swim used to start at midnight. Then it moved up to like 11.30 or 11 o'clock, I believe. Then it moved up to 10, 10 o'clock. And now just recently, uh, they moved the time up to 8 o'clock uh, p.m. So, um, I mean, why not have TNA on the adult swim block of the Cartoon Network network station? Uh, let them have that 8-hour, eight, 8 to 9 block because... You know, uh, Adult Swim already has adult uh, field cartoons, you know, uh, adult animated cartoons like China, Illinois, uh, Rick and Morty, which I love. Some of my favorite shows on that 
on Adult Swim. Um, you know, Family Guy and everything else. There's already adult-oriented shows on the Adult Swim block. Why not add, um, you know, TNA on, on, on the first two hours? Because, again, like I said, Adult Swim just started to start their network at 8 o'clock. That's just a possibility. I don't know. Um, another one here, which is just very far-fetched, but still, it could be something, maybe. Uh, Fox Sports 1. Uh, Fox Sports 1, that might not work just for the simple fact that, you know, there are a lot of sports on there. Uh, UFC, they picked up uh, last year uh, to have on that network. It's a big deal. It may be floundered, and Fox really doesn't really uh, deem uh, wrestling as a big sport. Uh, anyway, for professional wrestling as, as a sport, anyway, um, so that's just something I just just thought of. Maybe just possibly shoot in the dark. Um, another thought is maybe MTV. Um, MTV uh, is 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 uh, MTV did have a wrestling program back in the early two early two thousand like two thousand two two thousand three. Uh, XPW, Extreme Pro Wrestling, even though that bombed, maybe they may be interested in wrestling and they could pick it up or put it on the sister station, MTV2. Uh, others networks that are also owned by Fox, I thought about what about UPN, um, the former home of WWE's SmackDown, maybe you could put TNA on there. Um, it's not cable network, it's broadcast uh, television, but uh, you could still get UPN network, um, you know, through a lot of homes, uh, whether it's, you know, broadcast television or, or, or cable, you can still get it. Uh, don't know how many eyeballs tune into that channel, but that's maybe a possibility. Uh, other networks with Fox, uh, FX, maybe they could do something there. Uh, put it on Fox itself, Fox 32. Uh, that could be a little bit conflicting because, you know, Fox always has this, you know, it's yearly seasonal seasonal um, shows like American Idol or, uh, say, uh, uh, Hell's Kitchen. Those will always take top priority, I would think, over TNA and Fox's eyes and view. Um, so that might be a little conflicting, but maybe put it on, you know, Fox, Fox 32 or FX or UPN, one of those other two stations that, you know, sister stations that belong to Fox. Um, I, I thought about that. Uh, what's some other stations here? <sighs> Maybe ABC. Uh, ABC Network. Uh, Disney likes to dominate and own everything in the world. Why not own wrestling? Even if it might not be WWE, TNA. Maybe ABC. Uh, that maybe could work. Um, and I know it's owned, even though it's owned by Disney, uh, ABC is owned by Disney. You watch some of ABC shows, like some of their weekly shows, some of their stuff isn't, you know, family friendly. So I think that they could compromise, you know, with TNA maybe having, you know, the knockouts dressing the way they dress or, you know, them talking the way they talk and kind of swearing every once in a while that TNA normally does. Um, I, I think that that would be fine for ABC because, I mean, again... You look at some of the other shows that ABC puts on and some of the content of these shows that they put on their show. It's, you know, it's kind of kind of tricky or, uh, you know, uh, risque, so to speak. Um, so maybe ABC. Uh, one of my friends brought up uh, NBC. NBC might not work just for the simple fact that NBC um, owns USA Network, which both companies are owned by Universal Studios, which is home to WWE. Um, WWE, I mean, Universal Studios owns NBC and USA uh, Network, which is where WWE Raw. So I don't know how well that would work. So I don't think N NBC 5, I don't think that would really work. Um, so these are just a couple of channels, um, stations, networks. I thought maybe TNA could possibly, it could work. Um, and, and even in, you know, and this is just my opinion, just a side note here. If TNA ever gets, you know, a new TV deal, say, with any one of these companies or whatever, this is just my fantasy thinking here. I think TNA needs a reboot. Don't even call it TNA anymore. It needs to be rebranded, rebooted. Um, I think, you know, kind of go away for a little bit, rebrand themselves, reboot themselves. Um, 
they could probably still go by, you know, the have the X division or whatever, but don't yeah, they could probably sell the X Division or the Knockouts, but just don't call yourselves TNA anymore. Go buy something else, because I think I think at this point now, the name TNA is associated with failure or very little to mediocre success. Uh, just that the TNA brand, that's what it, it represents now. It's the, it really has. So at this point, reboot it, rebrand yourselves if they get a new TV deal. You guys let me know what you think about the stations that I brought up. Do you think TNA will fit on some of these networks, yay or nay? What are your thoughts? What network do you think may work for TNA? Um, comment, subscribe, peace.